one memorable point of, of just the the genius of the systems meeting the uncanny valley. I broke into a guy's house who shouted, Hey, guards! And then I, I did the interact with him thing, and I spent all my time just charming him and charming him. I charmed him like 20 times, so suddenly you know, he became my friend. Yeah. So then I come out of the dialogue, and obviously time's frozen while you're in the dialogue, but he called for guards, and he called for his dogs. So his dogs come towards me, but he likes me so much, he turns around and slaughters his own dogs. <laughs> and then, I'm there, looks like, okay, oh, shit. then the guards break in to arrest me for breaking this guy's house, and he slaughters them as well. I was like, <laughs> holy shit. And That's Sergeant paper, Sloot from EverQuest all over, isn't it? Yeah, well, on paper, it does all the right things. You know, the, the, they're reacting to your presence, they're interacting with each other. It's just that when you apply those to you know, what would ever happen in reality, suddenly the game falls very, very short and just gets wrapped into the uncanny valley and just, just pure hilarity. On the other hand, you do remember that section of gameplay, right? Yeah. I mean, at well, least you remember yeah, those events yes. happening, right? I remember how broken it was, absolutely, and how much I laughed. <laughs> Fine, I'm, I'm interrupting you. I'm being the rude one here. I was saying Not that's you. where like soci- <laughs> that's where sociopaths kind of struggle because they can't connect that reality and that that um, the mannerisms and the the way that people speak and everything to do with being human. They can't connect that with their experiences. And there's something there that stops them. And I don't know what it is. I'm sure you know a little you know bit what? more about that than I do. But. Thank, thank you. You've now just given me the idea for our Game Jam topic, which would be something along the lines of develop a game to sociopath. diagnose a sociopath. Uh, no, we're not really going to do that. <laughs> that that's easy. Did, did, uh, did the player go back to the village and slaughter everyone? Tick. Okay, I am not a sociopath. You cannot lay <laughs> this on no, me. No, no, I, no. I, I, no, no. Right, I'm going... perhaps. Who, which one of you, right? Which one, how, how many of you have played Oblivion and Skyrim? All I've, of you? I've, yeah, right. yeah, we're there. Right, and I asked, I, I, I said this on my sh- my other show the other day. Um, how many of you tried to stab the children? Stunning. So, you intelligent people out there who are asking intelligent questions, I am going to go through and grab some. We have Anti Tot here, who has asked hypothetically, if you got all players in one of the big MMOs to give direct feedback on NPC interaction for say a whole year. Could this take the naturalness of the reaction closer to a Turing level in the way that, say, Cleverbot has been developed? Now, that's a Mm. big question. I I will tell you... Could the AI in a game appear to be as if they are other players playing the game rather than actually be other players? That's that's sort of... If you use, like, for example, Cleverbot. You're familiar with Cleverbot? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. For those who are not familiar with Cleverbot, Cleverbot actually uses the interactions that it's had with other people to build conversations, which is why it seems relatively clever, although a bit slow as well. Um, That's but, what we do. <laughs> yeah, welcome to AI. Um, but if you were to say, take all the interactions of everybody in that MMO, you know, the movement, the running, pausing, standing still in front of the armorer because you have to repair all your gear, you know, buying things, running in circles around that fountain in Stormwind or running around and jumping off buildings in Orgrimmar or, you know, whatever it is. If you took all of the interactions and you sort of, uh, well, I guess you'd have to say data mine it, woohoo, and put it all into one kind of neural network, could you actually potentially create an AI that is uh, yeah. pretty close to being human. Thanks for watching the quick bite. If you like what you've seen, please click like, share, subscribe. If you want to watch the full episode, click the bobbly heads you see at the top. And of course, leave your comments below. We like hearing from you. Speak with you soon. Toodlepip.